Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to install various Notabot plugins, including the Notabot Golden Configuration plugin. Um, I will also show you how to install the Notabot floor plan, as well as the device lifecycle management and the single source of truth plugin. And then finally, the device onboarding plugin. But before I jump into the CLI, I just wanted to show you how to get to the installation guide so that you can follow along with each step of the way. Okay, so what I've done so far, I've opened up a new web browser and in there, what I'm going to do, I'm going to search for Nutobot documentation. In order for me to actually look at the official documents from Nutobot, you would need to look at the docs.nutobot.com URL. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that one and in here you will find two options and the option that we after at this moment in time is the add docs button. So I'm going to go with this option and under the network to code Notabot apps, you will be able to see all the different apps or different plugins that you'll be able to install into your Notabot instant. And one of the plugins that we are going to demonstrate today is the Notabot golden configuration plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. And from here, you will be able to see there is an overview of the actual app, why it is needed, why would that be benefit you um, and the team and the company. Um, I, you will also see some screenshots, etc., etc. And from the menu that you see on the right hand side of the screen here, um, there is a documentation option. And if you click on that one, you should be able to see pretty much the user guide, the administrator guide where it shows you how to install, configure or upgrade, etc, uh, etc. Et so what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the administrator guide and here it should be able to tell you how to install the app in Notobot step by step. So what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to initiate an SSH connection to the server to access the CLI and also I will show you my current Nutobot system. So if I log into my Nutobot and let's say admin and enter my password, you can see this is my Nutobot uh, summary um, where you can see that I've got two locations, two, one tenant, um, six racks, etc. etc. And then if I go to the bluggings. Um, there is a plugins option here where you can pick and select the installed plugins and you can see that I haven't got any plugins that have been installed. So what I'm going to do next, I have already initiated a state connection um, to my Nutabot and I've logged in as admin and the first thing that I'm going to do, I am going to switch the user so in order for you to switch the user from whatever admin account you have to Nutobot you need to initiate this command and you would need to put the password accordingly and then you should be able to be you should be able to see the prompt have changed from the admin account to Nutobot account and then what I will do I will go to the actual directory of the Nutobot. Uh, in my case is my Nutobot instant is being installed under opt Nutobot. So what we are going to do next, we are going to install the golden configuration plugins. And in order for in order for us to do this, I would need to go back to the official document and in here if we scroll down you sh we should be able to um, copy this command and paste it in here and then we're going to hit enter Now that it's been installed successfully. And then if I go back to the documents, what we need to do is we need to copy the this command as well. This command will ensure that 
Nutibot Golden Config is going to be automatically reinstalled during future upgrades. So it is quite important step to do. So I'm going to copy this command and I'm going to paste it in here. And just to double check that this has been taken. So I'll say cat local underscore requirements dot text. And you can see this has been pasted accordingly. Next, what we are going to do, we are going to modify the notobot underscore config dot py file in order for us to add the these two plugins. Um, so what we are going to do, I'm going to actually copy the full config, which is provided by the, uh, the, the official documents. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my CLI. And from there, I'm going to use a utility called Nano. And I'm going to say nano nutobot or config.py. And then I will scroll all the way down. And then I will paste all the configs that is being provided by the official documents. So once you pasted the config, what you can do then you can actually control X and then press Y to save the file and then hit enter to confirm. So next what we need to do, um, we would need to copy the nutbot dash server space post underscore upgrade. So I'm going to copy that command. I'm going to go back to my CLI and then I'm going to paste that command and I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so that has been done successfully. And then next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this command in order for me to actually restart Nootbot services. So I'm not gonna use this session, by the way, as well. I'm gonna use another session. And from here, I'll paste the command the password the admin password in and then at this point we should be able to see the changes have been taken effect so if I refresh this you can see that the golden config have been installed successfully if I go to plugins and go to installed plugins you can see that we've got two plugins have already been installed So what we are going to do next, we are going to install the single source of truth plugin. So I'm going to go back to my first session. And from here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually install the module. So I'm going to say pip space install space nutobot dash ssot. I'm going to install all integrations. Um, so I'm going to hit enter. And then next, we are going to do the same thing as what we did previously. We are going to echo the nutobot sslt into the local underscore requirements dot text. To verify that, I'm going to say cat local underscore requirements dot text, and you can see that I've got these two things. And then next, what we are going to do, we are going to say nano bot underscore dot config dot pi again we're going to throw all the way down and under the plugins 
I'm going to add another another plugin and that plugin is going to be new to bot underscore SSOT and what we are going to do next we are going then to perform the post upgrade And then one last step, I'm going to actually up arrow the command that I've previously issued and I'm going to hit enter. And then if I go back to my actual application, if I refresh this, I can see that the single source of truth have been installed. If, if you then click on the plugins, you can see single source of truth um, options under the plugins, as you can see on the screen here. So what we are going to do next is we are going to um, install the device lifecycle management plugin. So I'm going to go back to my first um, session and in here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to issue this command, space install space nutabot dash device dash lifecycle dash mgmt. And then I'm going to hit enter. And now that it's been installed successfully. And then what I'm going to do again, I'm going to echo the name of the actual library into the local underscore requirements dot text. And then to verify that again, I'll cut it out. And then next I would need to add the name of the actual plugin into the nutabot underscore config dot pi. So I'm going to say nano nutabot underscore config dot pi. And again, I'm going to go all the way down. And in here, I'm going to add the name of the actual plugin. And I will save the file. Again, I'm going to issue the Nutipod server post upgrade. And again, if I go back to my other session, up arrow the previous command and hit enter. And then just to confirm, I'm gonna go back to here. I'm gonna refresh this. And you can see that the Nutaport device lifecycle management have been installed successfully. If you then look at the options um, under the Nutaport um, top menu, you will be able to see that there is another feature that has been added, which is the device lifecycle. If you click on it, you will see all the different options that comes with it. Next, what we are going to do, we are going to install the Nutabot floor plan plugin. So I'm going to go back to my previous session. And in here, again, I'm going to install the actual library. So I'll say pip space install space nutabot dash floor dash plan and I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to follow this with the name of the plugin into the local underscore requirements dot text and then I'm going to cat the file again you can see the changes have been uh, taken
Next, I'm going to update the plugins list under the nutabot underscore config.python. And in here, I'm going to add the nutabot underscore floor underscore plan. And again, I'm going to save the file. And then next, we're going to issue the post underscore upgrade. Okay, so what we need to do next is we need to restart the Nutabot services. So I'm going to up arrow and we issue the same command. And then next, I'm going to go back to my Nutabot instant and then refresh this. And you can see that the floor plans have been also been installed successfully. If you go to organization under locations, you will be able to see the location floor plans as well. Okay, so next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the final plugins um, for this video, which is the device onboarding plugins. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my previous session again, and I will issue this command. This command is the pip space install space nutabot dash device dash onboarding. And then I'm going to hit enter. And again, we're going to repeat the same step in terms of adding the nutabot dash device dash onboarding into the local underscore requirements dot text. I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to count the file again. What I'm going to do, I'm going to say nano nutabot underscore config dot pi and I'm going to go all the way down. And in here, I'm going to paste this config. So pretty much is the uh, Nepal username and password. And if there are any arguments as well that you want to pass. And then next, what we're going to do um, under the plugins, we would need to add another element, which is the final plugins to what we are installing today. And in here we're saying nutabot underscore device underscore onboarding. And at this point, we can then go ahead and save the file. And then issue the post upgrade command. And also, we are going to restart the new to bot services. And then if I go back and refresh this, you can see that the device onboarding have been installed successfully and accordingly. That's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss our future tutorials and tech insights. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to drop a comment below. I read all your comments and I'm here to assist you. Remember, consistency and hands-on practice are key to success. Stay curious, stay inspired, and until next time, peace.